Actual death by robot till now and now used in Ukraine-Russia war. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. And consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell notification below. This is the moment we were all scared of. Can robots kill humans? If so, why would they do that? Are they trying to take over the world? Is AI developed self-consciousness? Will they come hunting humans? And I can keep going with a list of questions. First, let's see some actual incidents. Yes, events where robots killed humans. Ford's robot arm. Robot arms are common in workplaces and carry out monotonous duties with computer programmed accuracy. The theory was that a robot might perform hazardous duties with greater safety, freeing humans to concentrate on less hazardous ones. Even if the goal is to cause less harm, Robotic arms built the road to hell with this best of intentions. The first killing happened in 1979 at a Ford factory. Robert Williams, a factory worker, was asked to manually count the parts, since a robot was providing erroneous counts. To count all the pieces, he had to climb a five-story shelving unit. And while he was up there, a second robot that nobody had disabled was still at work, doing things like removing parts from those shelves. As it reached inside, Williams was struck in the head. He died on the spot, yet nobody even noticed for at least 30 minutes. The jury determined that the absence of safety precautions, such as one that would sound an alarm if the robot was nearby, is what caused the robot to strike him in the head. The Ventra Ionia Arm At the Ventra Ionia facility, they weld and stamp truck bumpers. As in many auto manufacturing plants across the world, the workers complete this task with robots. Wanda Holbrook was in the plant in 2015, exactly where she was supposed to be. A robot arm entered her workspace from a location where it was not intended for it to be. Holbrook was killed when the arm struck her in the head. Even the staff noticed something was off about the robot that day. The robot that killed Wanda was attempting to carry out an action that had previously been carried out at a location where it was not intended. Volkswagen Germany plant. A robot will be a threat to human workers when they cross each other's workspace. However, in Germany in 2015, things were a little more difficult to explain. A 22-year-old man was killed while installing a robot. It was difficult to explain the situation because the worker was there to repair the robot. It shouldn't have been operating. But as he was in the danger zone created by the robot when it did, he was put into a dangerous situation. The man was struck by the arm against a metal plate and crushed to death. The Kawasaki Robot Arm Although a robot arm had been responsible for a fatality in America in 1979, the first incident comparable to it to ever occur in Japan took place only two years later, in 1981. Kenji Urata was a worker at a Kawasaki plant. When the robot next to him was experiencing some issues, Urata violated safety procedures by going somewhere that was off-limits to people to fix it. While trying to mend the arm, Urata accidentally pressed the power button, and his body was then pressed up against a wall as the robot started up. Self-Driving Uber If something goes wrong, self-driving cars are designed to have a real, human backup at the wheel. But accidents can happen when the human driver is not paying attention to where the car is headed. In 2018, Elaine Herzberg was riding her bike when an Uber struck her at the speed of 39 miles per hour. The person in the car was using their phone to watch an episode of The Voice. Because a human is meant to be the safety net in front of a self-driving car, the driver was charged with negligent homicide. Anyway, all of those we discussed were not intentional killings. And the common thing about those accidents is that there were some kind of human error. Such accidents involving robots are brought on by people. But not all killings are accidents. Let me give you some examples of that. Robot Suicide 81-year-old Francis Pete Teve of Australia did some internet research and built a robotic suicide machine in 2008. He put up the machine in his driveway and hoped that neighboring construction workers would find his body. The robot was a straightforward device that had a 22 caliber pistol and four bullets. It hit him in the head three times. The Dallas Bomb Robot Bomb disposal robots are quite basic machines that can be operated remotely and were created to give law enforcement entry to a risky region without endangering lives. The Dallas Police Agency modified its bomb robot in 2016, after five police officers were killed and seven more had been injured by a sniper. When the negotiations failed, 
police fitted their bomb disposal robot with a bomb and dispatched it into the room where the shooter was hiding. The suspect died on the spot as the explosion went off. It was the first occasion ever that authorities employed a robot to murder someone on purpose. Okay, now starting with that, we'll see robots that are intentionally made to kill. SGR A1 Sentries I hope you know about the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, separating North and South Korea. And this is where SGR A1 Sentry robots can be found. Even though this location is well protected on all sides, over 200 incursion attempts have been made through it. So, robot sentries were put in place to keep track of potential attackers and destroy those who don't belong. The machines are equipped with 1,000 rounds of ammunition, a grenade launcher, thermal cameras, laser rangefinders, voice recognition, and other features. All about the machine is confidential, so we have no idea how many deaths it's caused so far. The AI Machine Gun A dystopian nightmare would be robots built specifically to kill people. An AI machine gun is as straightforward, merciless, and horrific as any robot is capable of being. In 2020, a nuclear scientist from Iran fatally shot not far from Tehran. The scientist was killed from the back of a pickup vehicle that later exploded by a satellite-controlled AI system that targeted him using facial recognition technology. Three minutes were all the attack lasted. The missile that murdered the scientist was claimed to have been fired with such pinpoint accuracy that it was able to take him out but not injure his wife, who was seated right next to him. So, those are the recorded incidents in history. Now it's time to turn to war and killer robots. Although Skynet is not yet taking control, there are already automatic war machines in place and ready to start fighting. If you're unfamiliar with the term, as introduced in the Terminator film series, Skynet is an artificial general superintelligence system and conscious group mind that is based on artificial neural networks. These war machines are sometimes called killer robots. Fully autonomous weapons or killer robots could choose and engage targets with little to no significant human control. This indicates that the weapon system is capable of using fatal force without an explicit command from a human operator. This could apply to a variety of weapon systems, such as a battleship, fighter jet, or tank. As of yet, no nation is known to have employed autonomous weaponry. But nations including China, Israel, South Korea, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States are developing and using weapons that are precursors to these, such as armed drones. Because they would choose and strike targets without human control, their prospective use is debatable. But a Kalashnikov Zala Aero KUB BLA loitering munition with artificial intelligence capability has been used in Moscow and Ukraine. Open source analysts of the crisis in Ukraine claim to have found images of a new type of Russian made drone, one that the manufacturer claims can pick and strike targets through inputted coordinates or autonomously. The images they use came from shots of a crumpled metallic airframe. According to the Netherlands based group PAX for Peace, when soldiers submit an image to the Kalashnikov Zala Aero KUB BLA loitering munition, the system is capable of real-time recognition and classification of identified items. To put it another way, it seems like analysts have discovered a killer robot on the battlefield. As the battle between Russia and Ukrainian forces has gotten worse, with the invaders bombarding buildings and civilian areas as the Ukrainian forces prepare for counterattacks to retake their land. Ukrainian officials intend to utilize armed ground robots in their confrontation with forces backed by Russia early next year. The experimental Phantom robot, which may be used for the first time, was demonstrated by Ukrainian military and defense officials on October 9th in Washington, D.C. at the Association of the U.S. Army's annual convention. It can be equipped with anti-tank weapons, grenade launchers, or machine guns, and has six wheels or treads like a tank. The Ukrainian defense contractor Ukrobronropom, which built the Phantom, claims that it can travel 81 kilometers on a single engine charge and can reach speeds up to 37 miles per hour. Even better, it features a backup microwave communication link that will function even if the operator's connection is hacked or jammed, a challenge Ukrainian troops already faced when fighting Russian backed forces. So, yes, killer robots are here, and they're already in use. But don't worry yet, 
it will take a few more years till they come hunting you.